A controversial plan to give millions in property tax credits to a future Vanier Porsche dealership will come before City Council tomorrow. Community members held a rally earlier this evening protesting the tax credit. The CBC's Nicole Williams was at the rally and has the details. There is a peaceful protest going on behind me. Uh, about a few dozen people here protesting this nearly $3 million tax, brace, uh, tax break granted to Marks Motors, or the financial committee unanimously approved this tax break last week. Now, the company plans to build a brand new Porsche dealership here in the neighborhood, and residents say this doesn't make sense, that the last thing that this neighborhood needs, it's a low-income neighborhood, and the last thing this area needs is the city giving tax breaks to a wealthy company planning to build a luxury car dealership. The businesses um, on like on this on this street that have been hurt by the pandemic, you know, restaurants have been hurt by the pandemic. Um, lot, you know, the pl places that I go to that I shop at, you know, and I would I would want to see them grow and them thrive before a place that I will never go. <laughs> Vanier is a welcoming community. It's a community for everyone. This isn't a community of millionaires. It's a community of average people who want to see our main street filled with businesses that we would use in our daily lives. We don't want to see cash for, uh, tax breaks for millionaire dealership owners when what we really need is small community businesses. So what people are really hoping for here is that the city reconsiders this tax break. They say $3 million would go a long way in this neighborhood and that the company really, they can afford it. If they can afford to build a luxury car dealership, they can afford the extra $3 million in tax breaks. Now, this all came to be after, like I said, the financial committee unanimously approved this tax break last, last week. Mark Motors is the first applicant of a city program that's looking to revitalize this neighborhood. Neighborhood. But city staff say if they go ahead with this dealership that the company is looking to be paying about $355,000 annually in property taxes and that's about 14 times more than what the current owners or the current uh, owners are paying. So this tax break would be in exchange for upgrading the property. Now Mayor Jim Watson has previously said Ottawa would still end up with about a million dollars over the next 10 years in taxes and that would itself go a long way uh, towards social services, social housing, uh, infrastructure within the city. They say that it would bring new jobs to the area and that having Porsche here would actually potentially invite other companies to invest in the neighborhood. Now we know that the, uh, the city councillor for this area has also voiced their approval. So given all this, regardless of public backlash, uh, we are expecting city council to approve this tax break at their meeting tomorrow. And that was the CBC.